Welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining me. And today I want to speak about um, Theodore Whitmore's press conference, his pre-match press conference. Um, there's a few things that he said that I want to highlight and a few things we just want to speak about, a few, a few of the things that he has spoken about in his um, pre-match press conference. So make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to the Military Guna TV and join the military squad. So let's get straight into it. Let's get straight into it. Anyways, um, so the first thing I want to speak about is that definitely this game is a final. That's the first thing. That's the most important thing that this game is a final. And we must treat it as a final. Yes, people are going to say um, it's a quarter final, but at the end of the day, it, it's a final. Whenever we play against USA, it's a grudge match. It's a pride thing. We must win these games because, as a, as you guys know, I've already spoken about the idea of the mental, um, the mental thing that's going on with the players, and especially even the coach himself in regards to playing against the top teams. But one of the things that he, what, something that he already said is that it will be a tough game. This one will be a tough game without without a doubt, without any inch of a doubt. It will be a tough game. And there's a few things that we can take away from it in regards to how difficult this game might be. First of all, USA is having a very good campaign. And for me, my personal view, I believe that we should win this game. I'm not saying the US, USA team is the worst, but definitely um, in regards in accordance to quality, we have more quality than them. So I'm expecting a, a better result. This time around. Last time we played them, we got 4-1. Before that, in the Gold Cup campaign, we got 3-1. We cannot afford to be losing to USA time after time after time again. It's now full time now. And if we want to qualify for the World Cup, these are the games that we should be winning. So, yes, Tapa Whitmore said that it will be a tough game. And he said that it will be a final because that is how serious he's taking, a, he's taking this game. Now, the reporter asks, how do you think that the players will cope um, with a mass fan base from the UST, for the USA team? And he said that and we have to be focused and think of the game or think of the environment as an empty stadium. And that's a, good, that's a very good answer because in all essence, um, we know that because of the pandemic, most of the games are played at an empty stadium. But it's not about playing at the end of the stadium. It's about taking your mind away from the hostility of the fans because that is that is something that they're going to do. Once the game is not going in their favor, the mere fact that if they are the mass, they will start to whistling, they will start to booing and all different type of things, name calling, and we cannot let those things deteriorate, deteriorate us from whatever we want to do or the aim that we, ha we, that we have to achieve. And our objective, our main objective is actually to win this um, quarterfinal in which and eliminate the USA team. And I think that definitely is something that we have to look forward to. Now, um, the reporter asked him, um, also asked him about working with Paul Hall. And he said, what, did, what is it that Paul Hall really does? And how, are, how is it that Paul Hall affect the team? And how well are they working together? And he said that, um, everyone knows what Paul Hall um, will bring to the team, the intensity, the, the cohesiveness. And Paul Hall is no um, stranger to the reggae boys, no stranger to Jamaica environment in all aspects. So he knows the importance of the Gold Cup campaign. And his work, um, both of them are working really, really good together, um, trying to get the team at optimum best to perform at optimum best um, of their abilities. So and another question he was asked is that... Um, Let me, let me check it. Okay, so he said, what does the Gold Cup mean um, for the, the, the team in all aspects? And he said that this Gold Cup campaign is going to be one in which highlights what we want to do going further. And it's not only about this Gold Cup campaign. We have to look in, we have to factor in um, the, mere, um, the, the World Cup qualifiers. And that's true. And that is so, so true. Because for me, my personal opinion, if we cannot beat this USA team, we should take our mind off the, goal, the World Cup qualifiers. If we cannot win this Gold Cup campaign, <clears throat> take our mind off the, um, the World Cup 
just just take our mind off the work up from no and that's that's just how, how i see it um so these are the few things that came out from his press conference and uh, so i'm going to just touch on a little bit of it for me i love the fact that he spoke about that it's a final treat these games as as it's a final every single game is very very important every single game and he also spoke about that the team is now gradually playing better and uh, yeah that, that that's that, that that's what they call um i think i can't remember the name but when you play when you train at, at a certain intensity and high caliber whenever you started to play and and you realize that the games actually are easier than training session it becomes muscle memory and things become a lot easier but i am hoping that we understand what the usa bring and we do our how should i put it now we do our our, our indefinite um, analysis of how the USA team um, go about doing their business because that is important in how we approach this game in what they do. We have to consider what they do because that is a big factor in how it affects us. Early early part of the game, USA is a team that loves to press. Why? What we do, we try to retain position of the ball as best as possible. If we beat the press, we're clear on goal. That is how I that that that's how, that is how I see it. I'm hoping that this um that is the same way um Tapa Whitmore views um things as well. Definitely hoping that um but it was a very good press conference. Damien Lowe also spoke about it about the importance of the camaraderie within the camp, and yes, they are doing good. And uh, Tapa Whitmore also um spoke about that as well. So there's uh, there's a, a, a positive vibe coming from the camp that they can get the job done and it's important that they do get the job done and for me i am positive this time around that we can beat this usa team i'm expecting i am honestly expecting us to beat this usa team because this usa team is not the best of team it is not the best of team it's what it's one of the weak usa team and if we cannot beat defeat a weak usa team we are not worthy of playing in the gold cup we are not worthy of going into the gold cup final we are not worthy of, of playing also playing in the world cup campaign and uh, people might say um that's bragging that's no it's not it's it's, it's not that it's just uh, it's just it's just a part of football you have a stronger team it's expected of you to defeat the smaller the weaker team it's expected it's not it's not guaranteed but it's expected put in a performance come on the pitch and and do the work let let the work on the pitch um speak for itself so I'm expecting a big performance from the players. So people, um, thank you. That's that's what's coming out from um Tapa's press conference, um pretty much um press conference. Hopefully, you guys, um, take something from it. This has been a good one. Make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe, and also share the content. But make sure you subscribe. Well, do all three: like, share, and subscribe. Massive respect, Military Guna TV people. This has been really a good one, and 